What's poppin', y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game, man. You already know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to help grow inside your own life. The choice is yours on which route and destination you choose to take. So before I get into the title of my video, I want to say a big shout out to all my supporters. You guys are great. So, hey, look. The title of this video is going to be on the fact that for everything you do in life, you're going to have to pay a price, which is a sacrifice on part of who you are. And you got to really think about it. Oftentimes, due to the insecurities and the invalidness inside ourselves, we often don't mind paying the price to be able to acquire the things that we want in life every single thing you do in life comes with something that you have to sacrifice to be able to get to where you're trying to go so i'm gonna use two versions of it so in in the life we live currently the sacrifice for people not loving themselves is money which means you have to go out into the world and turn people into feeling like you are every day you wake up, feeling invalid, feeling less than. And as you do that, we will acquire you with more money. That's the sacrifice you will make. So oftentimes people take that sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's going to get them money to present a certain status to people, they're willing to do it. Now, again, everybody sacrificed for being able to acquire those things is different for everybody. But what I can tell you is that whatever thing inside of your soul that makes you feel the worst or make you feel less than, you oftentimes go out into the world and you sacrifice people with those same type of insecurities so that you can be able to acquire all the power you want in your life. People don't realize what how that plays a part, but it's the truth, you know? So... You can go off in life and you can acquire things in life without having to sell a part of your soul or sacrifice it, but it takes a little bit more time. And you got to think a lot of people in the world are microwave quick people. They need it now. They want it now. They're almost desperate for it. So because of that, they don't have no patience in between, which means you're willing to sacrifice a part of yourself to hurry up and get to the finish line. That's just the way the dice roll. You know what I'm saying? So let's say, for instance, oh, you're a, a man that didn't grow up without a father or, or your mom was on drugs. You know what I'm saying? You go out into the world and you have a lot of women and oftentimes they have the same traits as the person you haven't forgiven and then you have babies but a lot of times you don't want those babies because <laughs> the sole intention was that you were out there hunting for people to sacrifice, but they automatically had to get an abortion if you got them pregnant, even though you went into them bare and completely xing out the fact that they could get pregnant because it was in the sole benefit for yourself if they did get pregnant they automatically had to get an abortion now if you want to take that to the grand scale of things imagine how oftentimes men that are celebrities sell their soul for the money which means any women that they have intercourse with where they didn't protect themselves and they get pregnant the woman is automatically the target She's automatically the one that's wrong. She's automatically the one that wants him for his money. You know what I'm saying? Because he decided to let his senses get the best of him. And he had unprotected sex with a woman. You feel me? It is not that woman's job to right off the bat get an abortion just because you were not aware of the fact that you should have protected yourself before you went to that woman. So how can you make her the victim? You know what I'm saying? When really you were not aware of the things that you were doing because that was your ultimate sacrifice. But what you're afraid of is the fact that now you have another responsibility that takes away from you. But if you would have been smart enough to protect yourself before you went 
raw into this woman, you wouldn't even have to worry about that, right? Right. So now it kind of gives me <laughs> a broader perspective. And I'll tell the truth. I ain't hiding shit from nobody on how the the Kendrick and Drake beef is. You know what I'm saying? Because Kendrick is a successful rapper on top. He can go away for a long time and then pop out with a single. And all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? He back popping that fast. But he's married. And he has two kids. Right? As whereas Drake, on the other hand is a very big high profile celebrity but he uses that status as a means to you know what i'm saying not really want to be a type of person that settles down with a woman but you're okay with having unprotected intercourse with them and i say that to say like i wonder to all the rappers out there that had unprotected intercourse with women due to you not protecting yourself or just so quick to have intercourse with a woman due to whatever you could have been drinking or smoking that at some point your kids are going to find out that you had a paternity test on them. You didn't believe that they were your kids. And what are you going to say to them? Are you going to finesse their minds and get them to believe what you say and not what the paparazzi say? Because this is the truth. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you rappers and singers out there, especially males, have intercourse with women, non-protected, and get them pregnant and then deny the child. And then once you get the, the, the paternity test and the child is here, it's almost as if like, damn, okay, now I got it. But it's like, how come you couldn't use your first mind and be aware of the fact that you had intercourse with this woman unprotected. So it's a chance she could be pregnant. And you could be the daddy. You know what I'm saying? So I would just be wondering if at some point would they sit down and have a conversation with their kids and tell them, you know what, the how, how you were conceived is because I had a very immature night and I wasn't necessarily thinking and I had unprotected intercourse with your mother and I denied you at first because I wasn't aware of, you know what I'm saying, actually wanting to have a kid. I just went into the situation situation prematurely. Like, are you, Ed, like, do, do men sit down with their kids and tell them that? Especially if you're a high-profile celebrity. Because at some point, when he gets older, he's going to find out how he came to be. Or do celebrities just never tell their kids that? You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of them male-wise in the world that are very high-profile celebrities. And they go to these strip clubs and they throw these ones in the club and they scout out women <laughs> that only have intentions of making money off of them. And they have intercourse with them on purpose and then they finesse them when it comes down to paying or whatever, however they take control of that situation. You know what I'm saying? And then it's also the same for women. Some women intentionally use intercourse as a means to trap a man you know what i'm saying she never has no intention of loving you she don't love herself but she is trying to get the bag and so she will finesse you out your drawers to make sure she gets that bag so it's like the main course of the whole thing is the self-love and how it's so very important you know what i'm saying but it's almost as if like why even play that game when if you are fully tapped into who you are, you could be aware of thinking rationally before you do things that will stop all types of problems, right? At least I would think so. You know what I'm saying? If everybody is self-aware of what they do and they do not let their vices and their urges get the best of them, it means you can have the time to think rationally on if it's just, is a good decision that I should be making right now. Shouldn't no woman have to get an abortion because a man is too immature that he can't protect himself when he has intercourse with a woman? You know what I'm saying? And again, any woman should be able to basically pay attention to the circumstances on how the intercourse occurred and realize that you may have a man that's immature you're dealing with who only was there to basically enjoy the intercourse he doesn't have any intentions on having a responsibility that's not a part of the plan 
So you got to see how that th level of thinking makes the whole world separate because no one wants to take responsibility or own up for the things that they do. It's only the things that they think people are doing to them or how they're feeling attacked. You know what I'm saying? But it's, again, you got to think of the sacrifices you make to be able to acquire certain things in life. If you don't know how to balance it all out, you're eventually at some point going to sell your soul for something or another because your, your, your dire need, your love is in the wrong direction. You know what I'm saying? You got to really think about the su successful rappers out there who are not in it for the money. You don't never hear nothing about them getting played. J. Cole, another one, very talented, successful artist. He's not in it for the money, so you could tell people don't even play with him like that. He don't even play with nobody like that. And he's one of those rappers that's hard to get him on a track. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about people who operate in that way versus ones who will do anything for the money. They get trapped in these contracts where they don't know how to get out because, you feel me, they got diamonds in their mouth and some some diamond chains and a lot of money and i'm not hating i'm not putting it down if that's what you need to solidify who you are to get what you want out of life which is the fame and the success and the people to love you you're gonna end, ultimately at the end of it get trapped and that's just for real life as well you've been playing a whole mass this whole time to acquire money so you can acquire the status that you need inside your life to have People look at you a certain way, but you were going about it the wrong way when you start having to, you know what I'm saying, put other people down or do other people wrong. That's where the problem came in. If you were understanding and realizing that it's a, it's a system cultivated of being patient and really focusing and putting your mind onto something, that it gets you what you want, but you will not have to break the codes that come with it. So, therefore, everything will balance itself out. You know, you got to really just use your eyes and see what's going on in this world oftentimes the people who use uh their climb and rise to fame and and they got it by another person's status or another person's energy they're crumbling right now they don't know what to do all falls down you know what i'm saying at some point you had to be wise enough to know that that way of thinking was gonna break you know I, but i don't think people seen it when you get money and everything is good and people do what you tell them to do, it, you know what I'm saying? And you finessing people like you never for once stop and think, you know what? All this shit could change in an instant. Because it's just too good. The feeling is just too good. But anything that's too good, it, don't, it won't last. You got to go through the ups and downs, the emotions like a seesaw. That's the journey. That is the investment. That is the, you know what I'm saying? The the level of understanding the patience and how it works. You know what I'm saying? And it's just being real. I mean, it, it's tapered off to everybody. I'm not judging nobody, but it's just what I see in the industry. For instance, you feel me? Nipsey is a real gangster crip. You didn't hear no women slandering his name when he passed away. You didn't hear no women talking about, you know what I'm saying? He did this and he did that. You didn't hear that. You know what I'm saying? It was now a lot of his Crips homies that had everything to say, you know? So it's kind of like you can control yourself if that's your vice, you know? Because you don't want to <laughs> sell your soul and, and cripple everything that you are to get that level of success, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it could just even be a person who was bullied and picked on as a kid. And then all of a sudden, you got people liking you a little bit, but you really insecure inside yourself. So the only reason why these people like you is because you got this new Benz or you got this apartment or, you know what I'm saying, you, you take care of your kids, you play this, you play that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of really working on it by yourself. I would never, ever sell my soul for nothing in life. Because then that means I would have to compromise who I am to be able to acquire it. And because I've had my experience with that, with people, and how I had to lower who I was to be able to get these people to fit into my world, I will never, I would never, ever again. You know what I'm saying? What's meant for me is going to be meant for me. I want everything that's mine. I don't want nothing that's not. You know what I'm saying? So that means however 
much I gotta get back on the roller coaster and get off and keep riding it until it's, it's getting to where it's going. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I've been in too many scenarios where I had to sell myself to acquire certain things. And I don't mean like, you know what I'm saying, in a, in a physical way. But I did that too. You feel me? But I'm talking about in a way where I had to figure out, I had to put myself down and think of myself as less than to be able to fit in certain circles. You know what I'm saying? Never. It ain't enough money in the world for me to do that anymore. You know what I'm saying? But think of how a lot of people who've been doing that the whole li their whole life. And so now because that fabrication of that curtain is coming down, they have to face who they really are. You know what I'm saying? Because they sold they soul to the devil. You know what I'm saying? Which means you operate in life a certain way. And when a person is really with you for you, it won't have nothing to do with social status. It won't have nothing to do with money. It won't have nothing to do, you know what I'm saying, with anything. It can solely be a person loving me for me because on the weekends when it's raining, I like to cook meals and watch movies. And they love me for that. The conversation is great. They're going to love you for that because that's not something you can pay for. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm a little bit sleepy. I ain't even going to lie. You know what I'm saying? And this this good Sunday, I done made Sunday dinner and did a lot of cleaning up. And so, I'm tired. So, this video is not going to go on too far. You know, I'm going to get back started up on Monday. Get up early. Do what I need to do to get back to the drawing board. Because you already know how I get down. But listen and, and pay attention and be wise enough to understand that. Selling your soul for anything in life is not worth it because that's going to be a price that you're going to have to pay for either through you or your children because of the fact you are not standing in your power if you could not rule others for theirs. It's not a good way to think or live because you never know when you will have to pay for that, whether it's through you, your kids, your kids, 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 and that's a pain that ultimately hurts and can be carried on for a long time. So listen, if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.